Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina and for my regular viewers, welcome back. Today I want to share with you my husband's gold jewelry collection today. Um, it's not much of a collection, but I thought I would still share it with you today. So I'll just dive straight into it. So um, he's not much of a jewelry wear wearer, right? But he does have a few pieces, like I said. So I will stop with this one here that I have been having for quite a while. show you it's like um, a horseshoe it's a horseshoe design there is a head of a horse in the center see that there and this, this, are, these are not really diamonds inside these are what you call it um it's a fake I can't remember the actual name of the gem but it's not really that it's not diamonds and um, I think this was gold plated I'm not too sure but the length of time I've had, that we have had this ring, it is looking pretty, pretty good. I have never cleaned it before, and it's looking very, very good. It's in good condition. Even though it hardly wears it, it's looking in very good condition. Right? And I bought this, um, let's see, we are married now about, we are married now about 13 years now, and I bought this before we got married, you know, so this is lasting very long. Because um, I think I, thought, I think it's gold plated, but if it's gold plated, it's lasting very very long. I must say, um, yeah. But he hardly wears it. Yeah, so it's just there. <laughs> so the second thing I want to share with you is um, his wedding band. I bought this in Saint Thomas. This is gold for sure. I suspect this may not. This may be diamonds. I can't really remember if it is diamonds in there. It's a simple design. I really really like it. Gold and a little pinch of silver in there simple design very very simple and this is his wedding band and to tell you the difference this one how it feels i know this is gold for sure and the jewelry store that i bought it they sell gold st thomas they sell gold 100 percent gold this one here that the reason why i suspect um the price of it um, plus how it feels the weight of it I could tell this is not really hundred percent gold because look at this um, you will suspect that it is it's heavy but it's not heavy it's very light in weight so for sure I know this is not hundred percent gold this may be mixed with something else but I'm, I'm amazed to see how good it lasts it is it's looking very very good like if it's brand new and um, it hasn't turned or anything like that I'm very impressed with this okay another thing I want to share is that um, it's a gold chain you can see that there a beautiful gold chain and I bought it in St. Thomas too as well again I bought it in St. Thomas and this is 100% gold let me see what it says there I can't really make, make out the print I can't make out the print it's so fine but I bought this again in St. Thomas um, and the length is not that long for me maybe a bit long but it's not that long he's not again a jewelry wearer as such so i chose something that is not too bulky and not too thin not too long so this was this will just suit him but he hardly wears it so i think <laughs> i mean he's me to start to wear it sometimes if i want to change i probably just just start to wear it and you know because he hardly wears it and again i bought it before we got married so this is this is Again, I bought this before we got married. So again, this is about over 13 years old. And of course, 100% gold is looking very good. Um, I have never cleaned this one as well either. So it is looking in good condition. So while we are talking about gold, I want to share this one too as well. This one here, this is a chunky chain. We bought this when we went on a cruise um, in 2006. Now this is gold plated, gold plated for sure, right? He doesn't wear this because it's basically it, it's kind of a bit heavy and even though he wants to wear a piece of jewelry ever so often he will more go for the other one than this but this is holding up very nicely you know even though it's not a hundred percent gold it's gold plated gold plated is looking very very good but we just have it there <laughs> i thought i can i thought after a while it would have turned to like maybe looking rusty or something but it's looking very very good after all these years we bought this again in 2016 on a cruise, Carnival Cruise. Yeah. So while we're on the topic of gold, I thought I would share this with you today. This here is um, a pick a pair of jingles. This here, this is my mom's. Um, when she died, um, 
she had, she had given me a pair before, I can't remember what happened to it, but I think I may have done something with it. So I found that she had these there in her, in her drawer and I decided to keep them. These are very, very valuable and they're very, very old. I think they are older than my daughter, my first child, and she's 30 something years old. Um, this is old, uh, older than my daughter. Now, I'm kind of upset now. I wore it once since I got back from Trinidad. I wore this pair of bracelets, jingles, bangles, and it broke. You see that it broke. I'm so upset. But I'll just put it aside. Maybe when I get a chance after this corona pandemic pass over, I'll try and see if I can get it mended. Um, I don't know if there are many places in Ponto or Tolo where that will mend them, but maybe I may have to pop over to St. Thomas if I do. To, um, get this mended but um, in the meantime I'll just keep it safe and protect it and yeah I'm a bit upset like I said about it that is that it's it's broken and it's gotten delicate now so yeah okay so two more things I want to share with you before I leave again um, I have a watch this is it's just like in my other video I share with you my silver watch now this one is gold but this one for sure is not it's not gold it's maybe gold plated or, or one of those right but the watch is not working and the band part it looks very very good but it's not it, it still looks a little um like it has turned a bit but it still looks very good and i like to wear it you know i just wear it in my hand as like a fashion jewelry sort of thing but um, I, I would never get rid of this because the band is good it's pretty i like the design you know, I like the design. My son bought this to me many years ago before I got married. So that's over about over 13 years. And it's holding up very, very good. Again, I, I tried to get this fixed repaired, but I um, think it, it may have been a battery, but um, that didn't work. For, that didn't work. So I just left it as that. And I just wear it like a, a jewelry, fashion jewelry. You know, I love, the, I love the watch. And last one I want to share with you. And another thing too with my watches, um, these the numbers and this is very big so I could see these but I don't really wear watches anymore right because I, when it, the, the numbers are too small I can't really see it this one I can't even make out what brand it is so yeah but the, the numbers on this one are pretty big you know so I have one more watch I want to show with you in the gold gold category my husband bought this to me from a buzzer birthday present a while ago I hardly wear it because I had one like this I think this one had a chain I can't even remember this may have had a chain you know, some, some, some of these have like a chain on it and I had one some years back and I lost that watch because it, the chain came apart the watch came apart and it fell off my hand and I didn't know so I was kind of scared to wear this first of all plus it is very small I can't I barely see the, right, the numbers on this and my hand is a bit chunky and to me honestly I don't like how it looks on my hand you know it just gets lost on my hand so I didn't really like it that much to be honest but it's still there um, let me see if it's working it's not working it's not working uh, it, it's turning a bit but it's still looking good in good condition let's see if I can show you give me a close up So that's it um, for today, thought I would share with you today. Um, if you're interested, I'll probably I might do another video how I clean these, um, my husband's gold jewelry, but they're looking in good condition. So they don't really need much cleaning, but you know, just for, for information's sake. All right, if you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button, leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.